Okay, in this video we're going to look at some of the differences between the NIV and the King James Version. A lot of people seem to think that the NIV basically says the same thing as the King James without the archaic quote-unquote language. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. So let's look at a couple verses. The first one that we're going to look at and compare is Exodus 3.14. King James Version we read, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. Okay, let's look at what the NIV says. God said to Moses, I am who I am. Now that's an, a direct attack against God. You see, anybody can say I am who I am. I've said it myself, personally. Okay, it's not the same as saying I am that I am. So there you have the NIV attacking God. Next, let's look at Joshua chapter 7, verses 17 through 18. Okay, the King James Version says, And he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of the Zarhites, and he brought the family of the Zarhites man by man, and Zabdi was taken, and he brought his household man by man, and Achan the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. Okay, Zarhites and Zabdi. Let's look at the NIV. It says, Zerahites. He took the Zerahites. He had the clan of the Zerahites, not Zarhites, but the Zerahites. And Zimri. Oh, I thought it said Zabdi, or Zabdi in the King James Version. Okay, so the NIV says Zerahites instead of Zarhites, and Zimri instead of Zabdi. Uh, not the same thing. Okay, Joshua chapter 17, verse 1. I'm going to quickly go through a lot of these. Uh, there was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for Maker, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. He was a man of war. Therefore, he had Gilead and Bashan. Okay, so you have Maker, was the father of Gilead. He was a man of war. Let's look at the NIV. Here you have Maker, M-A-K-I-R, instead of M-A-C-H-I-R. Okay, and it doesn't say he was the father of Gilead. He says he was the ancestor of the Gileadites. Okay, and then it doesn't say that he was a man of war. It says that the Makerites were great soldiers. Okay, it doesn't say the same thing as the King James Version. So you have, in the King James, you have Maker, father of Gilead. He was a man of war. NIV, Maker, M-A-K-I-R, was the ancestor of the Gileadites, and the Makerites were great soldiers. It does not say the same thing as the King James Version. Okay, let's look at another verse. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Let's look at this uh, comparison. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay, the gods that were on the other side of the flood. Okay, that means before the flood, in the days of Noah, people were serving other gods. Look at the NIV. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your forefathers served beyond the river. Uh, beyond the river? What does that mean? Which river? Uh, see, it just totally destroys the meaning of it. it. It destroys the fact that before the flood they were worshiping other gods. The NIV is not the same as the King James Version. Let's let, next, let's look at uh, Judges chapter 1, verse 3. And Judah said unto Simeon, his brother, Come up with me into my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites, and I likewise will go with thee into thy lot. So Simeon went with him. Okay, two men speaking to each other, Judah and Simeon. Let's look at the NIV. Then the men men of Judah said to the Simeonites, their brothers, come up with us into the territory allotted to us to fight against the Canaanites. We in turn will go with you into yours. So the Simeonites went with them. So you have plural versus singular. Okay, it doesn't say the same thing. Judges chapter 4, verse 11. Now Heber the Kenite, which was of the children of Hobab, the father-in-law of Moses, had severed himself from the Kenites and pitched his tent in, unto the plain of Zanaim, which is by Kedesh. Okay, Hobab the 
father-in-law of Moses. Let's look at what the NIV says. Now Heber the Kenite had left the other Kenites, the descendants of Hobab, Moses' brother-in-law. And you see the little C there. You look down at the footnote. I didn't include it here in the video, but you look at the footnote, and it says, or father-in-law. <laughs> okay, uh, brother-in-law, father-in-law, two different things, not the same thing. 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 3. Let's read it. And the king said, And where is thy master's son? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he abideth at Jerusalem. For he said, Today shall the house of Israel restore me the kingdom of my father. All right, let's look at the NIV. The king then asked, Where is your master's grandson? Okay, so King James Version says, Thy master's son, NIV says your master's grandson. Now, father-in-law and brother-in-law aren't the same thing, and son and grandson aren't the same thing. Okay, Job chapter 6, verse 29. Let's look at this one. Return, I pray you, let it not be iniquity, yea, return again, my righteousness is in it. What's the NIV say? Relent, do not be unjust, reconsider, for my integrity is at stake. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, doesn't say the same thing. Let's look at the next verse, uh, Job chapter 15, verse 34. Okay, we have... For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. Okay, what's the NIV, the more modern, updated thing, say? For the company of the godless will be barren. Um, that's not what the Bible said. The Bible said the congregation of hypocrites, not company of the godless. Okay, I think the NIV is trying to cover up its own sin there. Job chapter 20, verse 11. Uh, his bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. The sin of his youth. Let's look at the NIV. The youthful vigor that fills his bones will lie with him in the dust. Youthful vigor versus the sin of his youth. Youthful vigor is definitely not a negative thing. Sin of his youth is. Job chapter 21 verse 16. Okay, we have King James Version here. Lo, their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. Their good is not in their hand, and the counsel is far from me. Oh, counsel of the wicked. But their prosperity, not good, prosperity is not in their own hands. So I stand aloof from the counsel of the wicked. Okay? Stand aloof versus far from me. Well, that sure is a modern updating. Uh, Job chapter 30, verse 15, King James Version. Terrors are turned upon me, they pursue my soul as the wind, and my welfare passeth away as a cloud. Okay, pursue my soul, there in the King James. What, the, what does the NIV say? Terrors overwhelm me, my dignity is driven away as by the wind, my safety vanishes like a cloud. So you have my dignity is driven away, not my, they pursue my soul. Job 37 verse 7. Okay, King James Version. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all man, men may know his work. Now you see, it's a truly amazing fact that God has created all fingerprints to be different. Each fingerprint is unique. No two have ever been alike. So all men may know that God is real by the hand. But what's the NIV say? So that all men he has made may know his work, he stops every man from his labor. Uh, totally destroys it, you see. I'm sure that uh, Charlie Darwin would prefer the NIV and, and probably recommend it.